Hey guys, welcome back to Torno 1500 and today we're going to be jailbreaking my iPhone 8 on iOS 16.2. So this is something I wanted to do ever since I got this phone back from my friend that was using it as his main phone ever since I upgraded from the iPhone 8 to my iPhone XR. Uh, and I gave him my iPhone XR when I upgraded to the iPhone 14 because his iPhone 8 is on iOS 16.2. And that's a really jail fully jailbreakable version of iOS. So that's why I wanted the iPhone 8 instead of the iPhone XR. And plus, it's also because there's some fun jailbreak tweaks that you can only do if you have a home button iPhone. For example, there's a nav bar tweak that allows you to use iPhone 10 plus gestures on older iPhones that have a home button. And there are some people on Twitter that were uh, modifying their iPhone settings apps and stuff with more transparency effects, which I found really cool and that just made me want to do this video even more. So with that out of the way and the reasons I want to do this, let's get into it. Oh, and before we get started, I am not responsible for any damage that might happen to your device in this video. It most likely will not harm your device, uh, but if it does have a slight chance of breaking it, uh, which is a very slight chance, uh, probably won't happen. So uh, a couple safety tips, keep your device plugged in at all times while doing this process, it'll help out a bit. All right, so what you'll need is an iPhone on iOS 16. Uh, this can be anything iOS 15 to 16.6.1. They're all the same steps, except if you do have an A12 or later device, you will only be able to do this on iOS 16.5.1 or under. 16.6 and over is not supported. On anything A15, A16 slash M2 devices, you will not be able to do this on iOS 16.5.1 and over, so I would watch out for that. But if the your device runs in the stipulations listed on the dopamine website, you're able to install the dopamine jailbreak. Now this is a rootless jailbreak, so it won't give you like full access to files and stuff, to my understanding, uh, but it should be enough to just let you install some tweaks and stuff, so that should be fine. Now this is my first time doing it with the dopamine jailbreak. I've already done like a semi jailbreak on my iPhone XR, but that wasn't a full jailbreak, so this is gonna be my first time installing dopamine on a device. All right, so now first you will need to download Sideloady, uh, which is an IPA installer. Uh, all right, so you can do it with any of these on screen, and I have used Alt Store before, uh, but I prefer Sideloady because it's a bit more modern and it's the preferred way to do it, so that's what I use personally. And you will get our little friend here, which is the uh, Mac OS cannot verify that this app is free from malware, so we're just going to press OK. And then we're not going to be OK with it, we're going to go into settings, and we are going to wait for settings to open, and it opened on the other screen, and we're going to just go down to privacy and security. Uh, come on, load. Come on, OK. Uh, Side Lodi, we're just gonna press open anyway because we know we can trust Side Lodi. Come on. Oh, come on. It's telling, prompting me on my watch. Hang on. Oh, it's not even, it's glitching. Okay, hang on. Yes. And from there, you should see this little prompt Mac OS cannot verify the developer of Side Lodi. Are you sure you wanna open it? Like, I went into the settings for effing nothing. Thanks, Mac OS. And it will start to open. All right, so I fiddled with this a little because uh, I really didn't want to use the iMac, although I do have it plugged in. Uh, but, uh, so I got it on enough so it would sync over Wi-Fi. I just had to hold it in. I don't know why it's so bad with lightning cables. It just is. It's weird. Anyway, so I've got all my information in. I've got the Troll Stoller, Troll Store Installer X IPA on here, and obtaining T by D. It's going through the process, signing the app, connecting, uploading. Please keep screen on. It'll go through this process, and then you will be left with Troll Store. And there we go, that should be Troll Installer X. But anyways, now you should have Troll Installer X on the home screen. 
Okay, so from here, you're going to go on to go into your iPhone. Uh, I have mine right here. We're going to want to go down to privacy and security developer mode and we're going to want to turn that on and it will restart your device so once you turn the device on again it'll prompt you to actually develop developer mode and uh, it will prompt you for your passcode so I will give that now developer mode should be enabled on your iPhone uh, you're gonna want to go into here I believe go into there uh, VPN device management you're going to want to trust your own developer and now you're finally a developer so you can go into troll installer x and install troll store persistence helper if you have already uninstalled scroll to the bottom uh, no persistence helper successfully installed troll store so you should see troll store on the home screen all right, so just by seeing this, most of you know, probably know what's going on. We're going to click install in troll store. It's going to open our troll. Why is it opening magnifier? Hang on. Okay, so I downloaded the, do the dopamine IPA uh, and we're going to install it in troll store. So we should have that. We're going to install it. I don't know what it was with installing magnifier. So dopamine should be installed and we should find it on the home screen. Uh, we're just going to press jailbreak, uh, select package managers, we're going to click both Celio and Zebra. Uh, we might as well just install both even though we're probably going to be only using Z Cilio because that's the more modern one. Uh, continue, it's going to go patch finding, extracting bootstrap, raising shields, uh, contacting Mars, whatever it's doing, and it's going to do whatever. We're gonna have to set a pseudo password, so I'm gonna do that off camera. And we're just gonna click set, and it should continue jailbreaking it. Uh, and that should be it. Uh, once this restarts, we should have a fully jailbroken iPhone. And here, now we can see that it has successfully installed Zebra and Cilia, which are package managers so we should be able to do basically whatever we want with this now uh this is now a fully jailbroken iphone all right so first thing you want to go you're going to want to do is go upgrade all confirm and it'll just go and upgrade all your existing packages so i would recommend doing this first right off the bat so all right so first thing i'm going to try is this which is iphone 10 gestures brought to older iphones compatible with 15. I'm going to try it even though it says I was 15 to 15.7.5. I could be doing something very dumb. Uh, final words in three, two, one. Okay, so you're going to want to follow a repo because there is a cool colors tweak that I want to install as well. I had this tweak installed on my iPhone 10. It's called Spectrum. And uh, so I should be able to install it on here, no problem. Uh, and that would be in there. We just now can go here and search up Spectrum, which comes up right there. We can press get, queued to packages. Uh, come on, confirm. And this should prompt us to restart Springboard, which I will. And once this phone restarts, we should be able to modify the colors of like the uh, control center and stuff. All right, so I got it working. You just need to install the tweak preference loader. Uh, so this will load all the preferences into the settings app. And I had to do a little bit of research for this, but uh, you can just control all the colors in here. You can figure out how to use it, do it to your liking. I'm gonna do this off camera though, because uh, yeah, the, it turned it pink already, but that's fine. Gestures XV, you can enable that. Hopefully it works, hopefully. And since there's no option in Gestures XV, we're just gonna respring it from uh, uh, Spectrum. So that should just respring the device. Also the iPhone 8 I'm using is getting really, really hot, so. Hey, it works. Hey. <laughs> hey, you even get the iPhone 10 keyboard, which looks so weird. 
because I don't have the, uh, what do you call it? I don't have the, uh, the uh, top enabled because I like the old one better, uh, even though it looks worse with the gesture navigation. Like, for example, when you slide down here, it kind of does that with the uh, signal icon. So, yeah, so I'm just going to try it like iPhone 10. So we're just going to go back to Spectrum, respring, and and it just screwed up the entire thing. So I think it's an iOS 16 incompatibility uh, because it's like tweak for iOS 15. So I wasn't expecting it to work well on here. So I'm just going to put it back to legacy so we don't have that ugly big red bar that gives you no information and instead having the all the information, which I kind of prefer actually on older iOS because... It shows you your provider, your signal, and all that, so. So yeah. This is kind of nice though, being able to uh, do the modern speed tests on here, like the basic TikToker speed test. All right, so we're gonna add another repo to this, and this will probably fix the uh, problem we're having with the uh, lock screen. Uh, because it will provide a new lock screen. This is the repo. You're going to add source, uh, I believe. Uh, and yes, that will add Jinsu tweaks. And we're going to be able to go to Dodo Rootless, get, if you want to buy them a coffee, you can, by the way. Uh, I support developers. I'm a bit poor to donate right now, but it's okay. Anyway, get downloads. We're going to download everything. And we're going to restart Springboard. And that should fix our issue with the lock screen. See, I told you it'd fix our problem with the lock screen. Now from here, we can type in my passcode. And here we go. We have the, uh, we have the whole shebang. What the hell? Anyway, we have the whole shebang here. Uh, it's all perfect. We are good to go with that. Uh, although there's, there's a few more tweaks I'd like to install. All right, we're gonna allow paste, and we're gonna add this source to uh, Cilio, and that will allow us to get in icon rotation rootless, and it does exactly what it says on the tin, which means when we restart the springboard, we can now rotate our icons, which is kind of cool because they stopped letting you do this in iOS 14, I believe. So yeah. <laughs> We're also gonna get my favorite icon pack that I use all the time on my main iPhone, Felicity Pro. Fun fact, Felicity is also the name of my ex. And now that we've done that, and I think enable it too, Oh, I think we need to install like Winterboard or something. We're gonna allow paste again. Uh, and this source, we're gonna add one source, which will add the source required to download Snowboard, which is a theming engine. Um, the reason I was saying uh, Winterboard last is because I'm used to, that, used to uh, tweaking with iOS 6, and in iOS 6, I think you use Winterboard, so uh, we're gonna restart Springboard, wait for it to do that, because it's getting really hot right now. It might explode. Anyways, I uh, open it up, touch ID to open, and it'll show you that little animation to show you that Snowboard is installed. So we're gonna scroll down to Snowboard, uh, we're gonna go to, uh, select theme, Felicity Pro Enable, apply six changes, and then we are going to, uh, respring the device. And now, we should have the Felicity Pro icon pack completely enabled on this iPhone. So you can see that we have a bunch of different icons here. Uh, it looks much better than the stock icon pack in my opinion. Although some of the icons are a little outdated like the Proton VPN icon, which I think the new one looks better than this. But either way, to each their own, I kind of like this icon pack. Just like I liked my ex before she broke my heart. Oh, so here's a good repo. Uh, Alias 20, uh, we're gonna add that source, which will make us be able to install 
cafe. Yeah, oh, signal bar. So we go through the process, restart springboard, and that will allow us to, uh, not that, uh, screw with our carrier names. So instead of TELUS, we can make it the uh, balls cell, oh frig, cellular and uh, override cellular type. We can make it be any type here. So I can make it 5G ultra wide. So now, uh, res oh wait, cancel, enabled, respring. And then we will be using ball cellular. And we are using their 5G ultra wide network somehow on an iPhone 8. I just created the first 5G iPhone 8. <laughs> or we could use LTEA, which I don't think, which I'm kind of, uh, Apple doesn't display it like uh, LTEA, it just displays it as LTE when you're using it on most carriers. I could be wrong about, yeah, it shows up as LTEA, which is kind of weird because uh, no carrier that I know of displays LTEA on any device really. So it's kind of preposterous and kind of fun. So you can have fun with this thing. Uh, I kind of like to keep it at, uh, I like to keep this off though. So I'm just going to disable it and respring it, respring it. Uh, I, I, I only use this tweak when I want to have some fun with friends over old carriers because I'm a carrier nerd. Uh, so yeah. All right, so that's a guide on jailbreaking your iPhone 8 and a bunch of tweaks that I find kind of fun and that I wanted to try in this video. So I basically did all I wanted to do with this phone, which is jailbreak it. Well, I hope y'all enjoy your fully jailbroken iOS 16 to 16.6.1 device or 15 device. Uh, I honestly had some pretty good fun making this video and only do this if you're experienced with jailbreaking or you've jailbroken before or if you're doing this on a device that is not your main phone like I'm doing. I did this on a secondary device. Oh, and of course, I've always got to say, you have a chance of breaking the device while jailbreaking it. Well, it most likely won't happen. I've had some people in my last video jailbreaking an iPod Touch 4th generation that their units have died. Honestly, I suspect a hardware problem or a very brutal software problem with those devices. But uh, be careful, uh, have some fun with jailbreak tweaks. I'll have a list of them in the description, including the ones I've used. I'll try to find the repos for them. If not, I have a list of them, but they don't include the repos that they come with. I had to research the repos myself, copy from Safari and paste them into Cilio. So that was a bit of a process. Also, what makes it a little different from the iPod Touch 4th generation is that it's not required if you want a usable device. If you want a usable iPod Touch 4th gen, you have to jailbreak it and do all that stuff because if you won't, don't, you, it's basically a useless brick, only good for like iMessage, uh, basic iMessage and very unsecure iMessage because it's old and doesn't have encryption. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Thank you all to all my Patreons. Names are up on the screen. Uh, I might be switching over to YouTube Super Chat or whatever it's called. Uh, so those will also be on the screen. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.